I'm Carter Scherer and I love supercars and I've spent millions of dollars collecting the craziest and rarest cars of all time. But I also have really bad luck. I've smashed cars, I've crashed cars. This crazy journey all started when I bought my dream car and within 10 minutes, I destroyed it. Oh my gosh, the tire is off the wheel right now. All right, so we are calling an Uber to go down to the car dealership. It's about an hour and a half to two hours away, depending on traffic. And look at these prices. We're gonna go with the black, just because it's such a long drive. We wanna be comfortable and, you know, we are picking up a very high-end car. I don't wanna pull up in the back of like a Prius without AC and be all sweaty. So I feel like we a little bit more fitting. <laughs> so I'm gonna, oh man, it's, I've never spent this much on Uber, but we're gonna hit I feel like maybe even go an SUV for just an extra hundred bucks. Nah, I think you should go all out. All out. The Lux. Well, then that's the Lux. What is? I, I don't even know what Lux is. You're going to buy your dream car. You should go all out with the Uber. That's six hundred dollars for an Uber. I don't even know what a Lux is. I, I'll hit it and see how long it takes to confirm. All right, let's take it to go. Last few bites. We got to hit the road. <laughs> Bye, Phil. Bye. So the Uber just stopped for gas. I've never done that before. Yeah, that's a first in my books. I didn't know they did that. I didn't know they did that either. I thought they, they were either. just already filled. You just come running back. We just, been a journey. It's been a long Uber ride, and uh, we are here. All right, we are in Ooh, the show. Which one is it? Is it this one? It's one of these. But yeah, so I have to guess. No Wait, is so, it this? No, this is a Ferrari. It's a nice one. Wait, is it not? You're not getting a Ferrari? Yeah, well, it's not that one. I'll just tell you that much. Is it this one? Uh, like, cause that's like the new seat wraps. It looks like like it was just put in. Yeah. And I know you're talking about something like colorful, so I, it's got to be this. It's definitely not that. Uh, for sure. It. You got it's it. for sure this one. The yellow mercy. <laughs> you're yeah. getting warmer. It's not that. It's even crazier than this car. Where where else could it be? Oh, actually, uh, I'm not sure if I see it right now. Uh, guess we gotta go look for. It. Oh wait. Oh, there easy. you are. Oh. Hey man. <laughs> What's up, man? Are you excited? I am excited. Do they know what it is yet? They don't know what it is yet. Does uh, he know no, what it is? I, I started guessing. And he doesn't know I'm what wrong. it is either. So pretty much you and I know what it is. Only you and I, but I haven't seen the car yet, so no. I'm excited too. Kept it a little bit of a secret, obviously. So. Yeah. Well, before you uh, check out the car, let's do the important part, the paperwork. That's right, guys. Uh, we do a, have to do on, the important details, which is uh, let's make this sale final, sign all the stuff we need to, and then we're going to be right out to the car. Now the owner of Wait, that's how you get a car? Is by signing papers? Yeah, you know. Oh, I thought you just show up and you walk away. No. Nah. Oh. All right, guys. So we're about to see the car for the uh, the first time. <laughs> oh! <laughs> wow. This is my first time seeing this car, guys. This thing is wild. This car has a twenty-one thousand seven hundred dollar carbon exterior and style package. It's about a half a million dollars. Half a million dollar <laughs> car right here, guys. This is absurd, and I'm holding the keys. Oh my gosh, that sounds absurd. <laughs> this thing is dirty, bro. No, this is not. I had no idea what I was getting into. This is the this is the quiet mode right here. You should check the trunk. So the guys, the trunk on this car is actually in the front. Yeah, there we Ooh, go. That's pretty big. A little Lamborghini book bag. So we, you know, we got room for the book bag. Now, this is, guys, this is definitely a practical everyday car. I don't see why not. 
Guys, I gotta say, I'm like speechless right now. I'm full of emotions and I'm finding it really difficult to keep vlogging right now because this car is just such a huge accomplishment for me and my life journey and it's also a massive investment too and I'm really hoping that this was the right choice and so I'm just flooded with all these different emotions and I don't know guys, I just want to get in and drive so this is such a crazy video for me. You know, I did it. We're here. Couldn't have done this without you guys, like for sure, 100%. <laughs> Oh man, I'm I'm lost right now. Literally lost for words. Oh, <laughs> all right. First time closing the vertical Lambo door. Nice and slow over the bumps. Yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> I'm really liking this a lot. I've been like nervous about this decision all the way up until this point, and now it's like literally a no brainer. Are you happy you made this decision? Oh, 100%, dude. This is definitely the move. Oh my gosh, the tire's off the wheel right now. Are you rolling? Yes. I don't know, dude. This is absurd. We didn't even like speed, we didn't drive fast, I didn't hit any potholes, and now we're on the side of the road. Tow truck's on its way, but it's about 45 minutes because of traffic on a Saturday out here in Riverside. It's absurd. So we're gonna have to wait. This is literally the worst luck imaginable. Not even 10 minutes into owning my dream car, I pick up a nail on the highway, the tire goes flat and comes off the rim. I'm not gonna be able to get the car home today, so we actually had to put it up on the tow truck, send it back to the shop where it's gonna sit for a few days until we can get new tires on it and get it all cleaned up. We're going back to go pick up the car. Yeah, and we're actually matching this time. <laughs> we got the new hoodies on that just got launched to the store this past weekend. And they are absolutely my favorite. They're so comfortable that uh, we literally have the same outfit on right now. Different shoes, same outfit. Yeah, it's almost the same exact same. outfit. Yeah. Pull up. Oh man. Super excited. I'm hyped. <sighs> Round two. Alright. We are back at West Coast Exotic Cars. Ah, Try, we're trying this again. Yeah, it's deja vu right now. <laughs> yeah, feels like last time. <laughs> Let me get you that door, sir. Right quick. Oh my god, I see the <laughs> <laughs> That's so sick! We are leaving West Coast exotic cars in a very exotic car, if not like the most exotic. And it's looking good with the Rara tag. Guys, I haven't seen this car or touched it since the last time and uh, we only had it for a few minutes last time, so I'm hoping we can have better luck this time and keep it a little bit longer. Got to get my wet shoes inside of a brand new Aventador S right now. Oh my gosh. Yes! yes. <laughs> Forgot how loud it was. Alright, we're pulling out the Aventador. He's got the Mercy. So we're pulling up to Z and Tanner's place right now. We're gonna see if they're home and uh, get their reactions of the new car. Dude, Let's they're see. gonna freak out. Knowing them, they're gonna freak out. I mean, this is on full display right now. Uh, Yo. Yo! How you doing? What's going on, man? Here? Yeah. yeah. No way! Yeah. No way! <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I'm excited. Oh, oh my god, dude! Oh my god! He just landed god. a spaceship in front of my house. <laughs> the roar on the they back! Don't have no. the, same roar logo. the white on white, the stitching is perfect. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bro! <laughs> it's too crazy, I don't know. It's like scary to rev it, it's so loud. <laughs> oh. Congrats, Thank bro. Thank you. Thank you. 
Wow. Appreciate it, guys. We're now moving cars because we're going to be trying to jump over this Lambo off the roof of the house. All right, guys, we got the Lambo in place. It's uh, above or below the roof, and we're going to try jumping off it. Over the ladder, onto the ground, onto some crash pads. Let's get to it. Oh my gosh, this is going to be wild. <laughs> I thought this was a good idea pulling up, and now I'm starting to get nervous. All right, here he goes, here he goes. Two, two, one. Whoa! Oh my gosh! That was a stomp. Had some fun filming some cool TikToks, jumping over the car, but it is time to get it home. Oh my gosh, doesn't get old. All right, she started up. I'm gonna go pick up Liz and we're gonna go hit Malibu. life every decision every choice has led me to exactly where I am right here right now standing here in Malibu California just getting my brand new dream car Lamborghini Aventador guys this is such a surreal moment and accomplishment for me someone destroyed my dream car my new Lamborghini Aventador S are you kidding me but let me explain it could be anyone in the world or at least any one of the four million people living in LA but I don't think it was just a random person who did this. I think the person who did this is someone that we know. All right, I'm calling him and hopefully he picks up. Carter, how are you? I'm doing all right. I gotta, so I gotta show you something. I wanna get your advice on real quick. What happened? All right, well, let me show you. What? Yeah, it got completely spray painted all uh -huh. over. Do you have any like video of it or security footage or whatever? Yeah, I'm gonna check the security cameras and see. Oh and my god. It's on the carbon fiber. It's just Are on. Are you serious? Yeah, they left the paint right here. I mean, what do you think? Like, what's I'm the... I'm gonna have to have my guys go through the whole car and, and fix everything. I mean, what do you think a ballpark estimate would be? 50 grand? I mean, who knows? We, we have to see. There are a lot of clues that I found that will point us to the person who did this, and I'm gonna need your help to figure this out. So, let me start from the beginning, just 24 hours ago. All right, Liz, you ready? Yeah, come on, I've been waiting. All right, I got the keys. We are going out for a drive, and it's a beautiful sunny day. What better day to take the Lambo out for a nice drive? Let's go. Can I drive it this time? Uh, no, no, I think I'll, I'll drive it. You never let me drive. Guys, I can't let Liz drive. Uh, you know what happened last time. I'm so good at driving this car. I don't know why you don't let me. I don't know if Liz is really that good, but guys, I do want to say that I got it detailed the other day and it's looking really nice and clean because it's been raining, so it's actually been really dirty. So uh, that's kind of why I want to drive because it it's just so sparkly clean. You know, Liz, I gotta say, I'm really enjoying this vlog style. It's been a while since I've just picked up a camera and just started filming our day, and it's really refreshing. I feel like the weather's getting nice, it's like summer is coming, and uh, it's just a lot of fun. Yeah, you know what would be more fun? What? <laughs> if you let me drive. What? No, I'm not gonna let you drive. You drove last time and it was crazy. I wish I had my own Lambo. If I had my own Lambo, I would paint it like pink and blue and be so pretty and everyone would know that it's my Lambo. Aha! Seems innocent enough, but in hindsight, this is very suspicious, especially now that my Lamborghini has been painted. So Liz is definitely a suspect on my list and she will be the first one I am going to interrogate. Here are the clues and facts that I found at the scene of the crime. I woke up in the morning and I went outside to find my car completely destroyed and spray painted. This absolutely freaked me out and I went back into the house. Both Liz and Phil were home. 
Near the car, I also found two cans of spray paint, both the same color that the car was painted, and these were definitely the ones that were used. I also found security footage of someone climbing over the fence and spray painting the car and then leaving. Let's see if we can match up these clues to any of our suspects. In better news, Team Rar is having another Saturday launch. This time it is beanies. We got blue ones and green ones with the little RAR monster on the back. These things are super hype, and Team RAR has been launching new products every single Saturday, so we have a bunch of stuff available, including this hat, this shirt, and a bunch of other stuff. So if you haven't been to TeamRAR.com yet, make sure you go check it out at the end of this video. So here is what we know. My Lamborghini got vandalized last night around 3.45 a.m. I really do think that the person who did this is someone that we know. So here are my list of suspects. Liz, Phil, Ryan, Matt, and stove. And of course, all of this happened at the Team RAR house. So let's see how this all connects together. Let's start with suspect number one, Lizzie Capri. We know that she has a connection with the Lamborghini because she's the only other person that has driven it before. Of course she has a connection with the Team RAR house because she comes over almost every day. She also has a connection with spray paint cans because she talked about painting the Lambo the exact colors it got painted the day before it happened. Oh yeah, and she also has a pretty strong connection with me because we used to date and we broke up, so she is my ex-girlfriend. And you know how crazy ex-girlfriends can get. Given all the clues and evidence I have right now, that gives Liz four different connections to the scene of the crime, and she also does not have a legit alibi. All right guys, time to go find Liz and question her. Liz? What? Here you are. Liz? Liz? What? Uh, come on, I need, to, I need to talk to you. About what? Just come on. It's very important. Busy. Thank you for coming in, Liz. As you know, last night at 3.45 a.m., my Lamborghini got vandalized with spray paint. The colors blue and pink were both used during this vandalization. And yesterday, if you remember correctly, as we were vlogging, you talked about painting a Lamborghini blue and pink. If I had my own Lambo, I would paint it like pink and blue. Sound suspicious? No, I said that if I had my own Lamborghini, I would paint it pink and blue. Yeah, but you don't have your Lambo, so you painted mine! Haha! -ha. No, why would I paint your Lambo? Because you don't have one, so you wanted to paint mine. But I don't have any motives to do that. So you really think that I snuck over at 3 a.m. when normally I'm sleeping, and I climbed your fence, even though I have a key to it, just to spray paint your limbo and then run away. Well, who can vouch for your alibi? No one? Well, no one lives with me. You live alone, so how is anyone gonna back that up? That seems really suspicious, Liz. Okay, well you don't even have any proof that it was me, so why are you coming so down, down on me so hard? I have security camera footage of the person who did it, Liz. I see you, caught you red-handed with those spray paint cans. You need to get out of my face because I'm innocent until you have any evidence any hard evidence until you can prove that I'm guilty. I'm I know it was you, Liz, and it I will prove it. Me. Mark my words. I will find out who ruined my Lamborghini. Suspect number two is Phil. He has a connection with the Team Rar house because he lives here. He has a connection with the Lamborghini because he's ridden in it before and he says it's too loud and he does not like it. And he also has a connection with the security footage because he is the one that set up the entire security system for this house. So that gives Phil three connections to the scene of the crime. Let's go interview him. Let's go find Phil. I think he's upstairs. Phil, are you in there? Hiding out in his room in the middle of the day? Seems kind of suspicious if you ask me. Oh, was your door locked? No. Well, can you step into my uh, into the studio? I need to ask you uh, some questions about the events that happened last night. Come on, let's go. All right, Phil, thank you for coming in. I have a few questions. Okay. Is it true that the Lamborghini is your least favorite car that we own? Uh, yeah, it's not very practical. Is it true that you also set up the security system for the Team Rar house? Yes, I, I, I was the one to set that up. Hmm. And that is also the same security system that caught this crime in action. Yeah, so it could, couldn't ha have been me then? Hmm, interesting. Okay, is it true that you live here? Yeah, you just got me in my room. <laughs> okay, well, good. I just want it on the record. So you live at the house, which means you were probably here last night at 3.45 a.m. during the same time of which the Lamborghini got vandalized, which makes it look like you very well may 
have vandalized the Lambo. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't understand how it could be me. Why? You were here last night, you live here, and you do not like the Lambo? It seems like you might have spray painted it. What are you talking about? We just both saw the security footage. Like, the, the guy clearly came out from outside, messed around with the Lambo, mm -hmm. and then left. I mean, I was inside the whole time. I don't even leave the house. Interesting. Okay. You know I don't leave the house. Like <laughs> <laughs> That is true. You never leave the house, especially at 3.45 a.m. And this person did come, vandalize, and then leave. Okay, that's a pretty uh, strong point of evidence. I think our questioning is over. Thank you, you're free to leave. After questioning Phil, even though he has a few strong connections to the scene of the crime, he does have a very strong alibi. Because of this, I am actually going to cross him off the list of suspects. He lives at the house, he never leaves. There's no way he would have came to the house, vandalized the car and left. It just doesn't make sense. And guys, if you think I'm going crazy and I'm out of my mind, well I am. I'm stuck in quarantine, I got nothing better to do, and I'm going to be doing this detective work until I figure this out, and you guys watching can help me. My next suspect is Ryan Prunty. He has a very strong connection with the Lambo because he almost won the car in the last to leave Lambo video, but he didn't. He lost at the very end, and he said this. I can't believe that I didn't win that car. It should absolutely be mine but it doesn't matter because I'm coming back and I'm gonna steal it. Furthermore, since quarantine, he has been coming over to the Timar house occasionally, so I know that he's been leaving his house. He also has a strong connection to the spray paint cans because I know that he's done some hydro dipping videos. And lastly, he does ultimately fit the description of the security footage. So let's give him a call and ask him some questions. Yo, whoa, what am I looking at? <laughs> you have a little lean-in you just did right there? <laughs> All right, Ryan, it's time to cut it out. It's time to get serious. As you probably know, last night around 3.45 a.m., my Lamborghini got vandalized, and I want to know what you know about that. I don't know anything about that. Are you accusing me of destroying your car right now? I'm not accusing you of anything, Ryan. I am going through interrogations and trying to get to the bottom of this, and you are the next, su next suspect on my list, and Who you are acting... You There's are literally no way it was me. You're being so defensive right now, that is very suspect, if you ask me. Where were you last night at 3.45 a.m.? I probably fell asleep at 3 a.m. Hmm, Knocked suspiciously out. close to 3.45, huh? So Ryan, the reason why you are on my suspect list is because you have multiple connections to the scene of the crime, one of which is you have a connection with the Lamborghini. And that was because the last sleeve Lamborghini video, you almost won, but you didn't. And you're really upset. At the end of that video, you said you were going to steal the Lambo. I'm gonna steal it. I promise you, that car will be my car. Wait, yeah, I didn't, but don't you still have the car? Yeah, I, I do. With me. I didn't feel it. Yeah, but you did the next best thing, which was to vandalize it. You also have a connection to the spray paint that was left at the scene of the crime because you have done hydro dip videos, so I know you're capable of spray painting. Unless you can validate your alibi, you're looking very suspect. I can't, I swear, I was like watching a movie. Yo, yeah, Zach, no, 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 Zach. We were watching a movie until like 3 in the morning. You hear that? That's my roommate. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I don't know if I was grumpy. Okay, well, fine, that's fine. Enough, that's uh, That's pretty, okay, there's some solid evidence there. I will give you that, but I, I will get back to you, all right? Thanks. Oh, okay. You're not off the hook. You're not, you're not, you're not proven innocent until, you're guilty until proven innocent. <laughs> Gotta go, bye. So the recap of the Ryan is that he is very suspicious, and honestly, he was just denying it over and over again. I could just tell and see how guilty he felt on his face. However, he did have a legitimate, alibi unless he's getting his friends to vouch for him unless they were helpful i think he might be off the hook but i'm just not sure next i'm going to be questioning stove he has a connection to spray paint cans because he does a lot of hydro dipping and i think he's also came to my house and stole my shoes and hydro dipped them so i know he's capable of stealing and spray painting my property and i think he can easily fit the description of the person in the security footage let's give him a call and see what he has to say doesn't pick up, interesting. Oh. Hello? Hey Stove. What's up? So I gotta, uh, I need to uh, ask you a few questions. Oh, okay, it's like an interrogation or something? It's a little bit of a, uh, yeah, exactly. It's exactly what this is. So I'm sure you know of the events that happened last night at 3.45 a.m. where my Lamborghini got vandalized. What? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. 
I have video proof of the person who did it, and it looks like that person could be you. No, I don't. I haven't left my apartment in like weeks. There's no way that could have been me. So when was the last time you left your apartment? It's an embarrassing answer, but it's been like for like a month and a half. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Is it true that you've done Hydra Dip videos before? Uh, yeah. Well, is it true that you've snuck over to my house, stole my Yeezys, and Hydro Dip them without me knowing? I, 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 no comment. And could this, <laughs> and could the Lamborghini be the next video that you're filming where you Hydro Dip or spray paint my Lamborghini? Um, I can't, I can't tell you that. I don't, I don't know. I have no idea. So if you're acting very suspicious all of a sudden. I'm you started with a strong that. alibi from being in quarantine, but now it's starting to sound like you're up to something over there. I'm not, I, have, I, I will. I promise I have not left my apartment, and um, I, I, I did. I did get a lot though. So. So is it true that your car is both blue and pink? Yeah. Why? Interesting. Okay, that is all. That's all the questioning I need. A lot more connections just popped into my head about stove. And last but not least on our suspect list is Matt. And well, as you can see, I couldn't figure out how to connect him to any of the clues and evidence that I found. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and cross him off the list. But I am aware that sometimes the most innocent people are actually the ones that are guilty. After questioning all the suspects, I have a lot of evidence and clues that I think that we have three strong suspects of who it could be. And that would be Liz, Ryan, and Stove. Now, for Ryan and Stove, and there's a lot of evidence that shows that they could have done it, Ryan does have an alibi. Now, maybe he has his friend's vouching for him, I don't know, but at least he has something for it. Now, Stove, you know, he's been home alone, and he has not even come to the house at all, so I also think that's a pretty legit alibi, although I can't fully write that one off. Now, Liz, on the other hand, has been coming to the house a lot, and she has absolutely no alibi of any kind. She also has a lot of reasons to want to paint that car because she's the only one that can drive it, and I don't always let her drive it, and so she gets upset with me. Just yesterday, she also talked about spray painting her Lamborghini, which she doesn't have, pink and blue, the same colors used on my Lambo. And she's also pranked me before with my Lambo. What, what is um, this? Post it. Yeah. We, uh, we stuck it all over my car? And let's not forget that I've also spray painted her car with washable paint, but she didn't know that at the time. Oh, dude. She's not gonna be happy about this. And also the spray paint cans found on the scene of the crime were the same ones that she used in a video not too long ago. Him Hydra dip the bikini. I'm going bikini bottom. So given all of this evidence, I think it's pretty clear that Liz is undeniably guilty and she definitely did it. So let's go confront Liz and see if she will admit to the crime. All right, Liz, thank you for coming. As my investigation shows, is there is undeniable evidence that you are the one that painted my car, and I want to know why, and I also want you to admit that you did it. Carter, I didn't do it. Liz, there is so much evidence between the spray paint cans being used to you talking about painting the car, to me painting your car, you pranking my other Lambo, you wanting a Lambo, there is just so much undeniable evidence. You have no alibi. You have nothing that shows that you could that it wasn't you. This person painting the car right there has to be you. There's no other way. Wait, let me see the footage. Liz, this person is you. It even looks like you, and you're just what walking away. Wait, 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 pause, 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 pause. That person is not me, Carter. How could you prove that? If you can somehow prove that it's not you, then I'll believe it. But otherwise, it looks like it's probably you. And all the other evidence says that you would paint my Lambo pink and blue. You even said it yesterday. Well, I don't even think I could reach the top of the gate like that. Carter, I'm not that tall. You know that. Okay, well, there's only one way to prove it. If you can, if we can prove that that's, that person's taller than you, and it, then, then it's not you. But honestly, I know it's you. But I'm going to go outside. Let's run the security footage again and see what Liz looks like when she tries to climb over. And we'll compare it with this footage. I just can't believe you don't even trust me. Liz, I want to trust you, but there's just too much evidence. The security camera's running, and we're going to compare the footage of that person climbing the fence to Liz. So start over here. Just exactly how the how you did it last night. What do you mean? I didn't do anything last night. All right, night. so now walk across. Wait, wait. Let me get out of front. All right, so now walk like you're just like you did last night. Look. Okay. Look. All right, now I can't reach. Even reach. Yeah, you can. Okay, now climb Barely. over. Now put your foot up and climb a little bit. Harder. 
I have to tippy toe. The person in the video, his head was like up to here. It had to be a guy because they're they're so tall. Okay, well I'm gonna go in and check that footage side by side. So now that we have both pieces of footage, the one of Liz today and of the person last night, we can compare them side by side to see if that person last night was in fact Liz or not. Now, if these people look significantly different, that will be evidence enough to prove that Liz was not the one who spray painted the Lamborghini. So let's line the footage up. Let's change the one to today to black and white to make it look like it was filmed at night. And let's play them side by side and see how similar they are. So here are the two people walking. And so far, it honestly looks quite similar. So here, the person reaches up and tries to grab the top of the gate, and it's pretty easy. And here's Liz trying to grab the top of the gate. And you can kind of see Liz really has to reach Far to reach the top, which is really starting to show the height difference between the person last night and Liz. So unless Liz was wearing stilts or something last night, I think that this might be evidence that it wasn't her. Wow guys, we are back to the drawing board and given the evidence of the security cam footage, it actually proves that that person could not be Liz because the one person last night was way taller than Liz. So as crazy as this sounds, I had to cross Liz off of the suspect list. This is a sad day here in Carter's life, guys, because today we're going to be saying goodbye to the red Lamborghini. And let me show you exactly why. So, we were getting ready to sell the car, and the day that we were taking pictures, getting it clean, making it perfect for the next owner of this car, uh, well, something happened. So, Matt was trying to do a startup video, but unfortunately, he left it in gear. And so, when he left it in gear, when it started, it started rolling down the driveway and he crashed it into a tree. So basically what happened is after he hit the tree, it caused damage to the front fiberglass bumper and really ripped it all up. It's quite significant. It's probably about eight to $10,000 worth of fiberglass repair to get it back to the way it was. And there's even more pieces. So if you guys are wondering the extent of the damage, it's pretty, it's pretty bad. I mean, it took quite a hit. All the impact of the entire car as it drove down the hill and into the tree, you know, really tore up, it bent the metal. So all of this, in order to fix this, we had to recreate these fiberglass pieces, the exact shape, put it on, do a lot of Bondo and fiberglass body work, and then repaint the entire thing to make it match. And it's beyond my skill level of repair, so we're gonna have to take it to a shop and uh, get this worked out. And that's why we're saying goodbye today. We also have a flat tire to top everything off, so. We're not even gonna be able to move the car unless we can get air in this tire, so let's see if we can pump it up, Andrew. And then the next question is after we get air in that tire, will it start? It's been sitting for a little while, but I think it should be fine, but the battery could be dead, it might have trouble starting, it's an old car, so uh, we'll see. It's working, the tire's taking air, so that's, that's great news. I'm not sure why the tire would have a slow leak, it's not like it was a nail, but it's just an old car. It's an old Lamborghini, old Lamborghini is just high maintenance, a lot of problems, and uh, I think it's just time for the next loving owner of this car to take it and enjoy it and not crash it into trees. Oh! Stop, 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 stop! Oh my god. The tire held air, let's see if it'll start. We gotta pull this out. The tow truck is gonna be here, so I wanna have this ready. <laughs> so I just gotta not do what Matt did. Stop, 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 stop! and I need to make sure it's in neutral. If it's not in neutral, when you start it, it can roll. And I'm gonna put my foot on the brake too, just to really make sure. If it starts to roll on me, it won't, you know, drive into the house. We're in neutral. Just gotta get, to get it to start. Uh-oh. Yes! It started. Uh-oh. I think it's gonna start. It's like about to die, but about to start. What happened to uh, the front of it? Yes, man. <laughs> what happened to the front of it? Have you actually not seen that? Hold on. You he seen did that? that? He hit it? You don't know about this? He hit the car? No. No, Matt Norlock drove it into Matt a tree. Matt Norlock? He drove it into a tree. <laughs> no. Yes, I Matt Norlock? I had to go get it fixed, though. The trip. Isn't that's like, how are they gonna fix that? We're gonna move on to the next phase. We gotta pump, pop the trunk. Uh, the trunk? So this is the trunk on the car. I'm got, kind of giving you a full tour of this thing, which is sick. All right, so the trunk opens. Quite a bit of trunk space. Very, you know, I actually do like that about this car. You can actually put your bags or some groceries, whatever back here. You can go for a road trip. This is also where the, we put the battery 
it's really easy to access back here, so we can jump it up. So the reason why it's not starting, if you're wondering, it's not because this car is junky or anything. It's actually extremely well maintained, high quality mechanics and everything, but it's just an older design. It's carbureted, so when it's not driven frequently, you gotta get all the fluids pumping through the systems, and that can just take a lot of cranks to get it going because it's all mechanically carbureted. It's not uh, modern fuel injection, so it doesn't always just start like that, but uh, it easily can, you just have to drive it. It's been sitting since the crash, so it's been a few months. So, all right, let's try it again. So once it gets started, it should be fine, and uh, you know, but that's just the nature of one of these cars. Same thing as the Doom Buggy as well. There we go. Uh, I gotta pump more gas into it, so by pumping it, if you pump the pedal, it actually starts squirting little fuel into the carburetor to help it get started when it hasn't been ran for a while. So I'm trying that now, so I think it'll start. Let's, here we go, let's try it. Okay. I didn't think it was gonna be this hard to start. Normally it's not. All right, well let's pop the hood. Let's use some carburetor starting fluid. Carburetors. They can be finicky when they're sitting, but once you get it going, if I were to turn it off, try to start it again, it'll start tomorrow. Cold start, it'll start. It's just when they sit. But uh, we're good to go. It sounds great. Let's move it. All right, so this is another challenging part. I gotta get it out, but there's a pole right there. Alright guys, we got the tow truck here, the Countach. Alright guys, <laughs> well, here we go, we're having to say goodbye. Just look how low this is guys, oh my gosh. We might need some more wood. That's literally what we have to do because it's so low and that's also with the bumper ripped off. So it's even lower on the other side, look at that, no way. So we're using the winch right there, you can see it turning. It's pulling this, which then pulls the car up. And we have all this wood, so the bumper will clear. And this is also considering the truck is like out the driveway too. It's pretty wild to get a car like this that's so low to the ground on a trailer. Like talk about impractical. This is the king of impractical cars. All right guys, well, this is gonna be the final, the final look as we say goodbye to the Countach. Well, for now, it's gonna come back better, cleaner than ever, and then we're gonna be selling it. So if any of you guys are interested in buying this exact car from me, just comment down below, seriously. Uh, I do wanna sell it. It's not super cheap, but if you guys are actually interested and in, in the market for one of these, uh, comment down below because I'm gonna be posting it. You guys will see it for sale soon. Oh boy, here we go. I've seen it loaded up on the truck before and it's back on the truck again. Oh boy. Make sure the doors are closed. Make sure the trunk is closed. This door is not closed. All right, guys, and it's rolling away. There it goes. It's driving away, but you know, not on the road. It's sitting on a truck, but there it goes. I think this car might have more miles riding on the back of a truck than it does driving itself. And there it goes. Bye, Countach. Bye. The Countach might be gone, but guys, check out the new whip. We got the Porsche color match with the keys. What year is this one? 67. 1967 Porsche 911 or? 912. 912? Oh my gosh, because I've never been in one of these. I've never seen one. Oh wow. This is like one, of, this is basically the same year as the Doom Buggy. Oh wow, dude, this is great. Look at the interior of this. Seats in the back? Oh man, dude, this is sick. Right? This is all like stock original stock. Stock original, man. Untouched. Oh my gosh. Untouched. Look at how they do the door. What the heck? That's interesting. Oh man. These carburetors. Yep. This is sick. This steering wheel is like a bus. I feel so fancy and <laughs> I feel classy right now.
we're getting ready to leave. We're all packed up, and I'm afraid the Lambo is not gonna start because it's a dead battery or something. I don't even know. I think I left the light on. I left the trunk open all night. Really? So stupid. What do you do to fix it? I gotta charge it. Is it gonna work, Liz? I don't know what's going on. Well, someone's trying to start it. Trying to start it. Alright, we waited 10 minutes. We're gonna see if it works. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. It's not even like kind of starting. It's just not. I actually had no idea that the key actually fit into the dash. I never noticed that spot right there. That's, sounds crazy, but no one ever told me about it. So I was always putting it back there. That's kind of hype. Well, guys, it's kind of crazy. We can't get the Aventador started, so I'm leaving it here. Well, I gotta say, it's a, it's a great place to be broken down. Temperature control, it's all locked up with good security. And it's, you know, with some other nice cars as well. So I'm gonna have to come back all the way here. We got it plugged in with a trickle charger so we can uh, let it charge, but we let a light on and the battery is low. Too low to start. You ready to go, Liz? Kiss it goodbye. We gotta kiss the Lambo goodbye. We'll be back soon, I guess. Yep. Bye. Bye. Yeah, so stupid. Bye, Lambo. We gotta say bye. All right, guys, Lambo's gone. So sad. We gotta leave it in Arizona. We got all of these windmills around us. And I'm pretty sure that's the Apple Valley fire up there, guys. All that smoke looks like clouds. Missed Millie. Did you miss Millie? Yeah. Did, or did she Millie did, miss did. you? I can, I can keep her. <laughs> no. Was Millie good? She was really good. Really good all weekend. Yeah. Stove did some dog sitting. Did dog sitting now. She pooped a lot. She pooped did a you lot? Feed her a lot? <laughs> she took after me. Did you feed her? <laughs> what? Did you feed her a lot? Yeah. Is there, let me see your belly, Liz. Hold up the belly. Oh, it's full. She's got a big <laughs> belly. So as you guys know, the Lambo is like kind of a crazy car and it kind of is always having problems. And so this next time that I was driving was no exception. As I was driving around town, it started making a squeaky noise coming out of the clutch, which could be a huge problem because if the clutch has a problem, that could be up to an $80,000 cost just to repair that problem. And so I gave Lamborghini of Beverly Hills a call and asked him, hey, what do you think this is? And can you take a look at it? And hopefully it's not a problem. So. They came with the truck, they picked it up in a super fancy hauler and off it goes and I'm keeping my fingers crossed that everything is gonna be okay and it's not like a huge cost. Now it's time to say bye to the Lambo guys, but it's only gonna be for a week because we were sending it to the new house. The only thing is, I'm just not sure if it's gonna fit on this truck. All right, here it goes onto the trailer. Oh, <laughs> uh, this is easy. <laughs> Tasha had to climb over the roof and go through the window. Literally had to slide. The guy couldn't fit, so I physically had to do it. <laughs> oh my god. That's Look at how tight car. that is. That's scary driving in. <laughs> Woo, Carter's life. Everything is being destroyed. I don't know what's happening or what kind of karma I'm in right now, but you guys know a lot of bad luck with the Countach. And unfortunately, again, it got destroyed. And if you guys don't know about the Countach, this is it, it's one of my dream cars. I've had it for a while and it has been nothing but problems, guys. This car has been destroyed many times. The first of which is when Matt was driving it and accidentally smashed it into a tree and caused tens of thousands of dollars of damage. It took a long time and a lot of money, but we got it fixed. 
After that, I went to go pick it up and the very first day of me picking it up, it almost caught on fire. I was stuck in the middle of traffic. Everything was smoking. I barely got this thing home in one piece, but I did and we fixed it yet again. And now that I got this Lamborghini home, it is time to ship it off to the new Team Royal house where it can finally live the rest of its life. The transporter is here to pick up the car and this is what happened. But who knows how to drive this thing? Stop, 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 stop. Oh my god. Um, I could try. Oh boy. Wait, who's in it? What <laughs> it was heck? Josh. <laughs> <laughs> what did he get here? It's gonna hit. It's gonna hit. No, no, you're good. No. Oh my god, that's you're so good. scary. No way. Yeah. What? What? Yeah, you're good. It's no. literally like a centimeter. Did that just happen? Was that real life? How is that possible? No. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing up there? I'm reminiscing last time we're up here before it comes down. That's right, guys. We're moving out, which means we literally have to move everything. I've already said that. Sometimes the easiest way to clean up is to tear things down. And we have this massive Lego hotel that Bailey has been building for yeah, like for weeks. We were building this thing. Yeah, it's done. It's been done for a long time, and now there's nothing else to build. Nothing else to build, but a lot to tear down. So we are going to get started, and we're going to have some fun. So after 10 minutes, he got the key out. That literally took Andrew 10 minutes to take the key out of the car. <laughs> it was like literally 10 seconds. Can call Carter and tell him that something happened to it? Should we call him right now? Because he's not here. Oh, the bumper fell off. And Carter, it scraped really bad. The whole front like, end just fell off. So Josh like was so sure it was going to clear and just like went for it. Josh just floored it out of the driveway. No, slammed into Ethan's car. <laughs> yeah. Be like, it got stuck in gear. Like, it just kept going. Right. <laughs> it should be like Matt, like, jumped in front, trying to push it back. Try it. All right, Carter, batter up. You're up first. <laughs> oh, it breaks my heart. Let's give it a little test. I don't think this is gonna. That's really that strong. Hard. Just swing it hard. Go. Maybe this yellow one will come right through. Oh. Carter, you only have 10 seconds. What if this thing falls down on me? Yeah, you have less than 10. Hurry. I think you have to the other side. Go, go. <laughs> Hit it. Oh. oh. Right. Nice. Time. One more. That's it. In 10 seconds, that's all the damage you did. What do you mean? I'm going to hit this thing. It's going to fall down. I'm going up there right now. Guys, my turn now. I got a better idea to knock it down. Okay. <laughs> So, um, Josh couldn't make it, so we just tried to roll the Countach down the driveway and it like literally scrapes the bottom of the front because it wouldn't really start and Josh wasn't able to make it in time for the tow truck. Bumper's like gone. Andrew, okay. Andrew just said the bumper, the bumper is not gone, it's just really scraped up. What do you, what do you mean? Why would the bumper be gone? He's exaggerating. The bottom got scraped. The bumper is not gone. Andrew, don't scare him like that. The bottom is just... Send a photo? Yeah. We'll send a photo. All right, Carter. Uh, watch this. Watch this. The sledgehammer's over there, Bailey. What are you doing? What is? What could he be doing? Like, is it, like, did you get it through or is it sitting on the driveway? It's like hanging off. It's like... It's in the road now, <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know what the piece is called. What is that part called? So you guys broke it, is what you're saying? It's not that bad. It's just scraped, so I think it has to go back to Josh's shop. So bad. What is, I don't understand. You rolled it down the driveway with speed. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't with speed. It wouldn't start, so Andrew had the great idea to just roll it down the driveway. Well, why wouldn't it start? Why wouldn't it start, Andrew? I couldn't uh, turn the key. He literally took 10 minutes trying to get the key out of it, first of all. Well, just give me a call. I mean, it, it definitely starts. Just turn the key, you know, and it starts. There might be a thing at the push or something. Yo, Bailey, where are you? You're running out of time. You only have 10 seconds left. Wait, are you pushing? My time starts when I say now. Are you ready for this? Yeah, I guess. What are you doing? Watch out, Carter. What do you mean, watch out? What are you doing up there? I don't even know if it's going to work. The sledgehammer is here. How are you going to destroy it up there? Oh, 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 stand back. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. No, he literally couldn't get the key out either. But we're handling it. But I just wanted to let you know. Well, I don't understand how you guys damaged it. <laughs> 
Right, Everything's really fine. Okay, anymore. we're done. Literally yeah, nothing I mean, is wrong. Elena, Elena you. had the brilliant idea of calling you and telling you we messed it up. It's fine. Nothing happened at all. <laughs> <laughs> he believes that. Yeah. Sweat out here, these guys. <laughs> yes. I, I could tell from your voice. I was like, yeah, no, this isn't a funny prank anymore. He actually believes it. They were like, he's <laughs> he not gonna believe believed. it. Whatever. Okay. So, anyways, yeah. <laughs> real update. It. It's too realistic. Yeah. yeah. They were like, they're not gonna believe you if you try to prank them for a bit. I was like. <laughs> What? Should they believe me? Yeah. Anyways, yeah, everything's fine. So the tow truck will be here in an hour and Josh will load it onto the truck. Yeah, I'm like sweating right now. Woo, <laughs> <laughs> guys, that was insane. I'm literally on my way to Palm Springs for a birthday party and I get the call and Elena was literally telling me that the car broke or they got it smashed. It has to go back to the shop. I was literally sweating and it was not funny to me at all because this car is literally cursed. It's always getting wrecked and destroyed. And so I believed it 100%. So the Kuntash is getting picked up. I'm not sure about this one. The tow truck is in the middle of a main road, and I'm not even sure if the And it's rush can, hour. It's rush hour in Los Angeles. I'm not even sure the car can make it that far. Oh boy. This is a sketchy way to turn out. Oh my god. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> oh no. my. Wait, why is it so. What? Oh He's stopped in the middle. Is this crazy? Yeah. Oh, we got a ball pit ball. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like a mile from the house. I'll pick it up. Don't worry. I got it. This is actually, we're in the middle of a highway, practically. This is sketchy. What is going on? So the Countach right there has to go into the truck. Oh my God. It's literally Friday night rush hour. What are we supposed to do? I don't know. So they're measuring the car because they say it's not going to fit. We're literally in the middle of the highway measuring with a tape measure on the road how long this car is. So they're climbing inside the trailer right now. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. It looks fun. I want to do that. It does kind of look fun. Not gonna lie. But at the same time, they're doing it in traffic. <laughs> One of the I'm busiest, literally the busiest road. road in LA. They're literally measuring the car right now to see if it's gonna fit into this giant trailer. Guys, there's so much room in there. It's gotta fit. So the truck. The truck is transforming right now. <laughs> and the nightmare continues. I thought everything was good with the Countach. It was all loaded up and it was on its way to the Timur house. But upon arrival, it arrived super late at night. Matt was there to take the delivery and pulling it off the truck. He found out that the car got destroyed again. I don't know how it's possible. I don't know what is going on, but I got text really late and Matt was saying that the car is not running right. It's smoking really bad and the wheel is broken. The control arm broke and snapped and the wheel almost fell off. It took him about an hour just to take the car off the truck and stick it in the garage where it could be safe and sound. And as soon as he pulled it in the garage, he turned around and the truck transporter booked it out of there, probably because he knows that he wrecked this car by accident. It. it didn't want to pay for it and now I'm stuck with a Countach that is broken yet again guys I haven't even driven it one mile since I put tens and tens of thousands of dollars into this thing I don't know like what to do this thing is crazy it's one of the most difficult cars to work on it's so expensive and it's always broken and I don't know why anyways guys this episode is all about destruction and I'm watching over my back because I'm afraid something else is gonna get destroyed we took the Lambo out we're cruising around and you know cars looking good and everything's awesome the problem is that the key fob is dead so you know the key fob is a little thing that unlocks and locks the car okay no big deal so i figured the key fob pulls apart right so you can pull this off the key fob and that's the key so you can drive the car with the Correct. key just like yeah, regular the problem is to lock the car we pulled off this piece and we put this in here like this like crazy and then we were able to lock the car like this. Boom, car's locked, pull the key out, Thomas, we're good to go. But now we can't unlock it because the key fob's dead and the mechanism's not working. So Bailey's freaking out, what do you want to do? There's one that's cool. We need a battery. Oh, this is what's dead. If it just could charge for one second, bang, would be good. This was the old one that came with the house and this is the new one. Honestly, the rims are just crazy. This is the, this is the 2023 model. 2023 and this is like a 2008 or something. It's so new, we gotta peel off the plastics on the ribs. It's late at night, we just tried a store that was right around the block, but it turns out it's closed. So we got on scooters, we're riding through the city, we gotta go to CVS that's open till like 12 or something. So this is pretty wild, but we just need a little tiny battery. I'm hoping that gets everything What's working. Up, Let's go! <laughs> Why is the vlog? Yo, this is pretty wild. First time ever vlogging in the city, which is... Oh. 
<laughs> I don't even know what to say, but we're in the no ride zone. The scooters literally are beeping red. We can't go to where we need to go, I guess, because uh, we're going too far to get to the CVS. I just need a button cell so I can drive my car. So I don't know what to do right now, guys. This is actually crazy. Cops are out. We're still like a mile away. So I'm not really sure what to do, guys, but uh, these are not gonna work. I know you wanna hit that heart monitor. All right. Yeah. there you go. Feel it off. Uh, oh, yes. Oh, you don't leave the tag on. That's like an off-white tag. This is yeah, a exactly. off-white edition John Deere Gator XV. You are XUV. All right, scooters are not working. Cops are out. We just have to ride down the hill until we enter the ride zone again and hopefully that scooter logo will come back to life and we're gonna have to get in an uber because they don't let you ride this far this is not a great night all right so scooters didn't work so we took an uber but we finally <laughs> made it hope until midnight we have like a couple hours, couple hours to kill. We're hoping we can get this little battery. That's all we need. It's, I mean, you called crazy. and checked. They said they had it. They first. said. She sounded like she even knew the, like, the code name, so we should be good. She was just lying. Well, a moment of truth. Oh, oh no. Woo! Yo, this thing is so sick. It's so fast also. Woo! Oh, uh, there's the old one. You guys jealous of the new gear? This thing is awesome. Woo! Please use the other entrance located in the alley to the right. There's always another thing that messes up, I swear. One step forward is two step back. That's just what this Lambo adventure is on tonight. But look, we have nothing else to do, right? Yeah, I, I mean, it's Saturday. We have Sunday to recover. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be up so late just trying to get this car started so we can go home. We're on an adventure on a new part of town. You know, there's always a silver lining. I think of it like that. I mean, dude, the universe always has something happen for a reason. It does. They wanted us to explore the CVS. Maybe we'll meet someone, like, important. <laughs> meet someone. Who knows? Hey, boom. Batteries. Boom. Lamborghini key. We gotta pull this down. Either you gotta push this and pull that out. And then this is what's been killing us tonight. That little thing. It's right there. All in good favor. Maybe this. Seven bucks. Seven dollars to make a Lamborghini work? Worth it. Or, okay, I'm like, oh, it's the last one. Universe. Oh, it's the universe. The literally one left. It's literally the last one. All right, Carter. All right, we get it. We get it. Let's go. It's one left. <laughs> I think Carter's not gonna be able to fit this. But that's just my opinion. I have no clue. We're gonna find out right now. Moment of truth. Moment of truth in a CVS in the middle of Raleigh. Okay. Oh, that was a good sign. Yes. We're good. All right. We're Mission complete. Andrew's going for a test drive. You feel the power. Wow. It's very smooth to drive though. All right, so we just got back, and Carter's gonna see if that Lambo will actually open. Two, oh! <laughs> Your little phone case. Two Lime scooters, two Ubers. Here we go. Oh! oh we can finally go home. It took us an hour. We finally got it, guys. What in the Lambo problems? A little key fob will keep you out of the car forever? Are you kidding me? At least under flash, the lap, the wrap looks insane. Oh my, finally. Yo, the cops are out tonight. I don't know what happened, but he drove by so fast with his lights on. Should have been filming. I should have been filming. We're about to do the legendary bridge crossing. Let's see if it fits. All right, ready? Yep. Here we go. Going across the bridge. It's perfect. Yeah, it fits honestly. Almost seems like it's better. Woo! Enough playing around. Oh. The truth be told, finally. If it doesn't start, we ain't going home. And we are finally going <laughs> home. Let me drive. It took an hour. No, you're not driving. Yes. No the way. vlog wants to see. The vlog, you guys. If I saw a comment that says hashtag Bailey drives, he'd be driving. But turns out, All right, put hashtag comment. Bailey drives in next video. I drive. Next video. Next video. Yes. He wants to drive so bad. Oh, yes. I'm meant to be. Honestly, my height. I don't see a comment. It's up to you guys. If you want, if you want to see him drive. <laughs> Just comment. We did send it to CBS on a bird and a lime and an Uber for no reason, y'all. Two Ubers. Two Ubers. <laughs> There's something else is gonna happen, I swear. No, yeah, we're gonna get a fat burger and be happy. Happily Char ever after. Burger, hey, hey, let's go! This is a, another series of the Lamborghini Countach. You haven't seen it for a while because it hasn't been working for a while because it's just, you know, it has issues, but it's up and running and it's better than new now that Matt has worked his magic on it. And look how long we haven't driven this thing. I mean, it is dusty, like bad, like really bad. So we're gonna clean it off, 
and still got marks on the hood from when Bailey tried to hide on it. So yeah, it's something, I don't even know. But what's crazy is I've actually never even driven this car in the state of North Carolina here at the new Team Rar house, which is pretty, pretty wild. Here comes Mom and Cooper. Ooh, Cooper wanted to come see what's going on. So Steven's ice froze over. Yeah. And we're out walking on the ice. Woo! It's a warm day, 27, a high of 27 degrees today. So of course, gonna wear some shorts. It looks good, like that with the house in the background. And it's completely frozen. You gotta get a thumbnail while you're out here. It's a long time coming. I mean, it looks great. It's dirty. Granite, yeah, it's very dirty, dusty, but it looks good. It sounds good. It's running better than ever. And actually the only issue was that the fuel pump was bad. So uh, we got that fixed. We fixed the little thing in the wheel that broke on transportation and it should be like literally 100%. The best condition it's ever been in, which is really exciting. You know, it's still dirty, but it is best mechanical and physical shape that it's ever been in since we bought this thing. She's gonna like these North Carolina roads. Oh yeah. I can't wait to off-road it and yeah, take it down to Moccasin. On the roads here. Yeah, put paddle tires on this thing. Oh, yeah. Take it in the mud. Yo, Ryan, what did you do? Get him! Get him, go, go, go! Ryan, run! Where'd you go, run? Oh, he's so busted. <laughs> this is exciting. Let's see if this thing is actually gonna start up. Oh, oh it starts right, right up. Sounds like it's misfiring a little bit. Uh oh, Liz. Are you getting pulled over? It's hard to say. I wouldn't even have known, but there is a cop. Oh no, he pulled over the other guy. You're good. You're good. What the heck? You're so lucky. Oh wait, that's incriminating. Bleep it out. You just, you're going speed limit. <laughs> you're going speed limit, so. I was when he was, I was going like 70, because speed limit 70, I was going 75 ish, whatever. But before that, I was definitely. That would be crazy. That'd be Millie's first time ever getting arrested. I would just switch <laughs> Puppy's seats first with time. <laughs> Put Millie there. <laughs> Puppy's like, first time. I'd be like, I'm not behind the wheel, officer. What I'm thinking, so one thing, I'm gonna, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to put new spark plug cables on and spark plugs because the ones in it are like really, really, really old. Because it doesn't quite sound like it's running on all cylinders evenly. Yeah, it feels weird, right? Which now. would usually mean an ignition with a carbureted system. It's got pretty fresh gas in it, I think. Okay, here we go. All right. Steven's about to skateboard go kart on ice. Keep it straight. Here we go. Here we go. Yes. <laughs> don't you start off slow and slowly increase. Yeah, just don't split. <laughs> so here's what the inside experience is. It's not running perfect, but it is running. We're gonna drive it out on the main road for the first time, like ever. Uh, we're in. I mean, you're yeah, headroom. I'm, I'm in. I'm like, I'm like squishing down a little bit. Oh yeah, plenty of headroom. Yeah, I'm also like that. It, it's a lounger. Like that's just what you get for headroom. In, oh, uh, oh, oh boy. But uh, you know, we're we're in here, Lamborghini Countach, 1985. I didn't even know it had a seatbelt. It's got seatbelts. I guess it does. Oh my gosh, it's such an old seatbelt. It hasn't even been pulled out. <laughs> it works. There it goes. It's been a while. Oh, oh my gosh. And I'm in, in the snowsuit, <laughs> in a winter vortex. Oh, jeez. Oh. Yeah, it's not running perfect, but it is running. So it is running. Out. See if we can get speed limit on this thing. It feels pretty fast, even all things considered. Got some pets. Let's not break another control arm. So I'm driving straight, but the steering wheel is like crooked. Yeah, there's some. There's a chance that some of it got misaligned when the control arm got fixed. Like it probably needs an alignment. We're going out to the main road. Here we go. Oh, there you go. Second gear. We're worried about third. Oh my gosh. Yeah, third gear. <laughs> I don't think we're going 55. I don't know what blinkers were. I don't even know where the blinkers are. 
Oh gosh. Oh yeah, she needs, she's misfiring a little bit. But well, we're running. The first, second, and third are pretty findable. I don't know about above third. Yeah, third, above third. I don't even know how to find any gears in this thing. Oh. Oof. That's a control arm. That's a control arm. I can't believe it's, it's working well. Even though it's not running perfect, it needs a tune up, but. I think a tune-up will tune-up and she'll be a daily driver. Oh my gosh, it's staying pretty cool. I mean, it is colder outside. I honestly can't believe I'm driving this thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I was just watching you drive around the parking, uh, the driveway. I was like, I was like, wow, this is, it's really happening. Well, she's doing really good. I feel like I want to drive her a little bit more. I want to fix that misfire before we drive it too much. Right. Well, let's try a uh, from first. Yeah. Ooh. Oh my gosh. That seems, yeah, it kind of seems like, ooh. Oh my gosh, what? Oh, oh, maybe the, the shifter's like hitting something. The, the connection is like hitting something spinning. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> we are getting pulled over. We'll see how this goes. All right, so your license registration back, okay? All right, thank That's you. a speeding ticket for 74 to 60, okay? It's a non-mandatory court appearance. Um, non mandatory, okay. You, go. you can pay it online if you so choose to, okay. or you can request to be dismissed if you want. They might, they might not, I don't know. As long as it's done by this date here, you'll be good to go, okay? Seven twelve. Final amounts at the bottom. All right, sir, so grab with me. All right, thank you. 74 and a 6, you didn't sound too bad. Officer at the bridge. Uh, I guess they got multiple eyeballs out. I guess so. Yeah. If I go to court and challenge it, you're not going to let me off, right? What's that? I said, if I go to court and challenge it, you're not going to let me off, right? It's up to the judge. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Thank you. Yes, sir. Have a good day. Have a good one. There he goes. Sheesh. Why does this always happen? This is just another check mark, another tally, another Lamborghini leaving the Team Rara house on a flatbed trailer by a Venador. There is a horrible noise coming from the Aventador. It just started a few minutes ago. I didn't know what it was. And now that I'm driving slower, it's horrible. I thought it was a flat tire or something at first. Horrible noise. Absolutely horrible. I'm really worried. This could be like a huge problem. I have no idea. No warnings at all on the dashboard. It's a horrible noise coming from it. Really bad. Just started. Like what? Like a really weird crunch. I don't feel it, or can you just hear it? Both. Oh, God. Something ain't right. It doesn't change when you're going faster or slower? It's louder when I go slower, but everything's quieter, so it's hard to say if the rumble is wheel speed dependent. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Like I said, when I was pulling off the exit, I was like, am I like literally driving on my rim? That's the kind of feel that it had. And I was lucky to see that the tires were holding air. What if we keep the car off, put it in neutral, and roll it down the hill and see if it'll make a noise? True, that's that a good can... idea. That could help us get an idea of what's going on. So we're gonna keep the car off. We're gonna put it in neutral. I can already hear it. What I'm hearing right now sounds like great. I'm not hearing anything like bad, bad. Let me uh, start her up and see what happens. I think that sounds fine. Yeah, I don't hear anything. I'm gonna try to roll. Yeah, let's take it easy. Let's see if it, we can get to just not make that noise again. That kind of feels like, like a rubbing noise too. This kind of feels like a brake is dragging, but it doesn't seem like I'm pulling right. in any particular direction. But then that clunk 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 is really, really clunk, scary. Clunk. Yeah. That That's, I feel like is gonna break something. That's a scary one. Oh, oh my gosh, what is that noise? Oh gosh. Ooh. Yeah, oh what gosh. the heck is that? That is really funky. It's like we're going real slow and it is just grinding. Oh, Alright, so now it's teams. really bad. Yeah. This is why I thought I was on the rim when it first yeah, it came yeah, slow. That's bad. I'm not doing anything. You're not doing anything right now? It's grabbing and releasing. Oh, wow. So is it the brake? It's the brake. Is the brake doing something? It has to be. I'm oh. sorry, but now it's starting to get really sketchy. Just get it in the driveway and just leave it right there. Look. Oh. So you want me to call that shop and have them check it out? I, I, I bet you they've got pretty it pretty concerning. Gone. Hopefully it's just like, oh, that's just the, you know, little adjustment there. You're right. Good. But hopefully it's not like, when there's an issue with this car and you push through it, it causes really big exactly, issues. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't think you want to push through this one. No, I don't think so. I think we're going to have to tow it. So, a Venador is broken. 
It's broken again? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so we got a tow truck coming right now to pick it up. No, what happened to it's it? It's stuck in the yard. For, like, is this, it doesn't move? Well, on the way back, it started to, like, rumble. <laughs> oh, like, no. And I was like, no. is it, like, the road being rough? Yeah, yeah. You know, if you're, like, on a really rough road, it kind of, like, vibrates the car. So yeah. I was doing that. So I figured it was just that. So I kind of was going fast. And I took the exit, and it started coming down. It started... And I thought I was, like, popped a tire, and I was riding on the rim. Like, it was so bad. Oh, my god! So I hopped out of the car right in the middle of the highway, like, on the exit ramp. Yeah. And I'm like walking around looking at the wheels to see if I have air in the tires, and I do. Yeah. Like, that's weird. So I, you know, take the exit and go down the, the road to the house, and just go, and I'm like going as slow as I can. It's chunking and grinding, and I'm like, what is going on? No. Yeah. So it's is it drivable at all no. right now? That's no. why it's in the grass right now. It's bad. Like we won't even like... take it to the garage. We have to tow it. Wow, it's, it's and bad. it's been like what less than a, like a couple weeks since you got it back. <laughs> I drove it one time. It's the first time I'm driving it since we got it back. Uh, no, why? What's wrong with them? You gotta, you gotta trade it. <sighs> you gotta do something with it. It's man. too hype. Okay, so the determination is something, something ain't right. We don't know. It could be the brakes, but there's like a chunk, 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 which is the most concerning part. The dragging makes us feel like maybe the brakes are somehow dragging in a very odd fashion um but the k -k -k is like really sketchy uh that makes me feel like it's more like differential or drivetrain doesn't seem like it's transmission but something along the driving train of it is just really bad so we're gonna just leave it right here we can't even get it to the garage because we don't even want to drive it that much so we're gonna leave it in the grass we're gonna get a tow truck take it back to the shop where it literally just was and um hopefully it's just some easy fix and not a major sixty thousand dollar rebuild of sorts so would it be good if we had it uh, dropped off with you guys today yeah yeah sure i mean we can't get to next week but yeah i mean it's not doing you any good than you are so. i'll call that guy up and have him uh pick it up bring it to you guys hopefully today all right all right thank you so much you say anything about the problem he or? thinks this is a, the abs pumps just going crazy and that noise you're hearing is the abs pump just pop, 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 like going crazy yeah and he says he's never seen it with an aventador only like older lambos he's like that that sounds crazy but they'll plug it in when it gets there and see what's what's what well, that would be a, an easy problem i guess if it's abs relatively brake related sounds like a better thing than i was thinking yeah that would just be Game over for the car, we gotta swap it or something. <laughs> yeah, that would be really bad. <laughs>
$2,400 brand new Lambo, we'll have it in um, a week and a half. And labor's only 200 bucks on, oh, good. on so this. It's easy he says, access. yeah, they can, oh. it'll take like, he says it's gonna take like an hour. To so why did a pin shear off? He hasn't, he doesn't know. So anyway, that's what happened. It's not, it's not, not horrible. It's yeah. not, not, no, no disaster here. It's so. not huge. The wheel's disasters. okay. The, the $3,000 uh. carbon fiber rotor does not need to be replaced. Okay. So luckily that didn't have to be changed out. I mean, I didn't really even have too much of an option to pull off sooner, you know? Like yeah, I was literally at, wrong, yeah. literally at highway speed yeah. feeling a he rumble. Just, he was just looking at it and said how it looked like the thing had been beating itself to heck for a while. I mean, it would have been more expensive to leave it where it was on the highway right. and get a tow yeah, truck yeah, there. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. So I think overall, we, I lucked I out. I think it's, everything went pretty well. So yeah, all things considered. Now the only question is, do you want the, the used part or the new part? I think you sounds good unless you recommend. I would go with the used one. He was he was like just just get the used one. He's like it's just a parking brake. Yeah, it's like it doesn't yeah, matter. Right. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go use sixteen hundred dollars, two hundred dollars labor. That's eighteen hundred plus tow truck fees. Tow truck was two hundred bucks. Oh, that's not bad at all, actually. About two thousand dollars. Two grand for this episode of Carter's Life, guys. Uh, hope it gets a uh, viral to help pay the bills. <laughs> <laughs> Those over there is loving it. Uh, Him and his two thousand dollar tires. And his four thousand dollar YouTube hoodie. <laughs> you gotta sell it to uh, buy some tires. Straight from Dubai. <laughs> oh my gosh. Cars are expensive. Yes, they are. The Lamborghinis are expensive. Especially Lamborghinis. <laughs> Especially the Aventador and the Guntas. One little, you know, parking brake, two grand. Uh, uh, and total. Not even drivable. For some pin, I don't even. That's crazy. Two uh, grand. Guys, comment down below if we should upgrade <laughs> to Lambo. Stuff with the call to action. <laughs> Love my call. It's my CTA. CTA.